Pisces, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. Welcome to your reading. Pisces, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you today. Wow, so look at this, two of cups, king of cups, very majestic energy. Right now, your angels are telling you that you have someone that's your kindred spirit, your soulmate. You most likely know them from a past life because the bond is very strong here. You guys have probably been reincarnated, done this so many different times. Now, you are being drawn to each other right here, right now because of divine timing. You both learned a lot of lessons solo. Now, you're meant to learn more lessons together. That's why you've waited to see them. That's why they haven't been brought in your life right now. Your angels are telling you to let go of what you can't control and they will be brought into your life sooner rather than later and that's how you tell your angels and guides you are ready to meet your soulmate like for example you don't control the weather so if it rains be like great you know the more green it gets you don't control the traffic if it's traffic be like fantastic you know with the traffic i'm going to throw on an audiobook right i'm going to listen to a podcast but by not focusing on what you can't control the most important part controlling the past why is this not happening when is this going to happen by letting go of that right because making an autopilot and focusing your awareness in the present that's when you are choosing freedom. That's when you are choosing to allow your angels and guides to bring your soulmate into your life. Why is that? It's one thing to manifest something, it's another thing to capitalize on it. Imagine you're like, I've been waiting to meet my soulmate. Now that you bring your soulmate in your life. But imagine if your point of attraction, if your awareness is in the past or the familiar uh, or predictable future, then you know, you're not able to woo and impress your soulmate as much as they are with you. And therefore, you know, imagine like having a conversation with someone that is not paying attention. And that's what's going on here. Your angels and guides are telling you that the success that you're looking for, like it's right here for you. You got the four of wands, you got the 10 of cups. Right now, the person that you've been seeking your entire life, you will bump into them at the grocery store, coffee shop, going for a walk, pumping gas at work. You never know. The who, what, when, where, how you don't know. But by focusing your awareness in the now and striving for progress and not perfection, now you're allowing the universe to bring them into your life. And that's what it comes down to, allowing, right? You ask, they answer, you have to allow. And right now by understanding that Striving for progress, right? Like, why is that? Because whenever you're looking for perfection, fear prevents you from doing anything. Remember right now, imagine right now you wanna ask someone on a date and you're telling yourself, oh, I'm scared about, what if they reject me? That's striving for perfection. But if you're looking for progress, you're feeling in love with the journey or the process, you tell yourself, listen, if they reject me, it's all good. At least I took that shot. That's all that matters, right? And I have a rule in my life. I tell myself, as long as I'm 1% better than I was yesterday, it's all good. You can make mistakes, who cares, learn from them, but you gotta be 1% better. And 1% may not sound like much, but it's 365% progress in a year, which is 37X. So imagine being like 37 times, making more, 37 times more money. That sounds good, right? In a year. And that's what's going on here for you. Now, speaking of money, check this out. You got the nine of cups with the eight of pentacles. Right now, your angels are telling you that you are meant to be rich. You are meant to fly first class. You are meant to buy anything you're looking for, order anything off the menu without checking the price. And right now, well, this will take place for you when you start responding with reason and not emotion. And what is the reasonable thing to do? The reasonable thing to do in your life right now is to do something that's sustainable. Your angels are telling you, at your current job, is this sustainable? Would you see yourself being here for the next one year, three year, five years? If it's not, it's better to cut your losses now and find something that is more uh, uh, in alignment with what you're looking for. And I'll give you an example. Like there were so many times in my life that I had retail businesses, I had the dog grooming business, dog daycare, coffee shop, a cabinet shop, a renovation company. Uh, we even had a, um, a uh, bakery, believe it or not. Yeah, we'd have to like wake up at 1 a.m. and start cooking. So long story short, we've done it all, but they all made money, but they weren't in alignment. I wasn't like waking up like, yeah, I can't wait to go make some cinnamon buns, right? So when you are taking a leap of faith, this is what it comes down to, grasshopper spirit. And when you 
Tell yourself, I am going to do something about the line when life gets better. Like I had all those retail businesses, but I gave them up even though they, they created wealth. But I told myself, I want to make passive income. I want to be on a beach with a laptop, make money. Therefore, I pivoted to online, Amazon FBA. I pivoted to Airbnbs. I pivoted to day trading. I pivoted to YouTube, right? And right now, source is telling you, what is it that you're looking for? And understand that it's all here. You can go get it. And right now, source is telling you with that energy of the 10 of swords, that change is needed in your life, right? And the change that, oh, why did that happen? There we go. Change is needed. And the only thing that needs to change right now is that you need to find strength and simplicity. Make your life simple. There's something going on in your life that's overcomplicated. And right now, do the 80 20 rule, for example. Like, you know, the 80 20 rule, like, you know, imagine you have. 10 different customers, out of those 10 different customers, only two of them are really making sales. Focus on that 20%, let go of the 80, right? What are we wasting time for? And that's what your angels and guides are telling you. Find peace, dove spirit. This right here is how you move forward. This right here is how you clear the energy and really quantum entangle with abundance. Now, very interesting. You got the Tower and the Ace of Wands. There's some sort of new movement about to take place for you. Maybe you're finding a new place to live, new job. And right now, there's some sort of shocking news that will come with this. But understand that by living with intention and not reaction, you will be able to pass this test because this is nothing more than a test. Your angels are testing you to see how are you going to react to the situation, right? Are you going to live purposeful? Are you going to be confident in yourself? If you are able to withstand this test, then you're able to withstand more opportunities. Opportunities. So for example, imagine you're like, I want to, you know, uh, become rich, but in order to become rich, you first and foremost have to be able to conquer your world to be able to conquer, you know, uh, your inner world to be able to conquer your outer world. And that's why your angels and guys are telling you that this is a time to start instilling excellent habits in your life because the only thing that separates you between someone else are your habits. And right now, by owning your reactions, which is a positive habit, you'll be able to control your destiny. And right now, spirit has a plan, but just be able to ego spirit. Follow spirit's plan. Understand that spirit has a plan for you to for you to be rich and healthy and with your soulmate. In order for you to get that, you have to listen to your intuition. Your intuition is how the universe speaks to you. In order for you to make the right decision, all you have to do is look for the synchronicities and be aware. If you're caught up in a familiar past or predictable future, you will miss the opportunity. And right now, there are multiple offerings. That's seven of cups energy. Multiple offerings entering your life, and they want your awareness in the present moment so you can capitalize on them. So right now, the best thing that you can possibly do is understand that spirit loves you, your angels and guides have your back, and the universe is trying to communicate with you. In order for your life to speed up antelope spirit, in order for you to get the abundance you're looking for, you have to quantum entangle with the energy of abundance. You have to have a vision, a story, a a a a, a uh, you really have to look at things from the perspective of it's already been done 10 years from now. So for example, you want to meet your soulmate, Visualize yourself meeting your soulmate 10 years ago. You guys have already moved in together, had kids if you choose that you want that. You guys are already engaged and married. You guys already bought a house together. Feel how good that feels, right? By quantum telling you with that, that energy and seeing the bigger picture, that's when you're allowing the universe to bring that person into your life. All right, Pisces, now time for your affirmation of the day. This is exactly how you get money and love into your life. Write down the following words in the comment section. When you write them down, breathe life into it by feeling it. Let your angels and guides know you command, assume, expect abundance, right? This is your birthright. You're not waiting for it. You expect it. Same way you expect your paycheck when you go to work. You're expecting abundance. Uh, right now, quantum entangle with this energy by writing this down in the comment section to get more possibilities. Right now, your affirmation is, when I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. Couldn't be more true. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. Write this down in the comment section right now. Let your angels and guys know you've learned this lesson and you're ready for new possibilities. When I follow my heart, I am abundant, successful, and free. Write this down in the comment section. Give this video a like right now. Let your angels and guys know that you are ready for abundance. All right, Pisces, now final message from your spirit guides, tying everything together. All right now, their final message to you is honor thyself. This is a beautiful, beautiful message. Right now, they say, just curious, when was the last time you looked in the mirror and addressed, your, addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? 
it matters. Here's looking at you, gorgeous. P.S. Okay, hubba bubba counts. Right now, start saying the words I am. I am gorgeous. I am magnificent. I am sublime. I am confident. I am charming. I'm sexy. I'm funny. Whatever you like. Write this down before you walk out of your house. Look in the mirror. Look at yourself in the eyes. That's how you look at your soul. And be like, I am lovable. I am attractive. I'm approachable. I am kind. I am wisdomous. I'm patient. It's endless. When you say this, you're casting a spell. And this is exactly how you bring abundance in your life. All right, Pisces, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.